Today, I want to show you how to make homemade caramel sauce. I know that working with this hot sugar can be scary, but let me just walk you through it so you can see that it's really just not that hard. And all you need is some butter, some sugar, and some cream. You want your flame about medium low. The biggest thing you can do here is keep your heat low because this is not something that you can really rush. And into our pan, we're going to do one cup of sugar now because my sugar is minimally processed so it still hangs on to some of its molasses it's never going to get perfectly clear like if you were using uh, one of those white sugars there's two methods you can do the dry method or you can do the wet method with the dry method you're just going to keep staring at this and till it liquefies and gets clear i'm going to use the wet method so i'm going to do one quarter cup of water and I'm just going to let this be. I'm not going to do anything to it, but just move my pan around. So you can see how that's not getting clear like it would if you were using just white sugar. And now comes patience and dedication to not walking away, to sticking with this and watching it. So you can see that it's cleared up a little bit. I can still see the bottom of my pan through there even though it's not completely clear so you see the beautiful little bubbles i have going on here and this is what you want to maintain just like that now i will set my timer for eight minutes and that is just so i don't really lose track of time because this can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get to that caramel stage that you want and then after that eight minutes then i know i can reminds me to check on it and then i'll set it every three minutes after that till it gets to the stage that I'm looking for. So my eight minute timer went off. Now I can still see through to the bottom. So I'm just gonna let it be and just set my timer for another three minutes and just keep, keep an eye on it. So another three minutes have passed and it's starting to darken up where I can't see through to the bottom. We've been about 11 minutes now and I'm gonna go another three minutes. All right, so we're about 15 minutes in and I can no longer see through to the bottom and do you, I don't know if you can tell, but you see how it feels thicker and heavier so it's not as liquid. So that's a good point to stop. I'm going to turn my heat off. Now I'm going to add a half a stick of butter. And it's important for your butter and your cream to be at room temperature because you don't want to introduce something very cold into this, something very hot. But just to make sure, just do a little bit at a time and you can see how it reacts to that. So just get it used to that new temperature before you drop it all in. And this is a good reason to use a tall sided pan because this can really come up out of there on you. So once you get your butter all whisked in, then we're gonna introduce a half a cup of heavy cream. And again, you want this at room temperature. And again, it's introducing a different temperature. So we're just going to do this a little at a time. And now off the heat, optional is a pinch of sea salt and a half a teaspoon of, ooh, or more of vanilla. And this is hot. Don't try to stick your finger in here or try to put your finger on here. This is really hot. You're gonna want this to cool down. And it, my, this one, I think badge turned a little blonde on me. Maybe we could have went a few more moments. This is a batch that's in the refrigerator that you can see obviously took darker. So the more you cook it, the more that caramel flavor is going to come out. But you also run the risk of getting like a, a scalded or burnt taste to it. Now, this is going to last you in your refrigerator for up to a month. And you can see how thick it gets in the refrigerator. So you might have to warm it back up depending on what you're using it for and it's you know obviously right now because it's hot it's thick but it is going to thin down so I hope that took some of the fear away from making your own caramel sauce you're gonna love it